What's up guys, I'm KB Kwan from Taste of Asian Food. Today's lunch is General So Shrimp, an adaptation of the more popular General So Chicken. I leave the shell on the shrimp, which means the sauce can cling on the shrimp better. At the same time, it prevents the shrimp from getting dry during deep frying. And of course, it comes with the sauce, which is the combination of a typical ingredients for General So, which is aromatic, sweet, savory, acidic, it's a melting pot of all the flavor you can imagine. So without further ado, let's get into the details right in. Let's prepare the shrimp. Clean the shrimp under running water. Twist to remove the shrimp head, set it aside and keep it in the freezer. We use the shrimp head to make shrimp broth which is the base ingredients for Penang prawn noodles and Ipo shredded chicken noodles. Now go underneath the shrimp to remove the legs with a pair of scissors. Run a sharp knife along the back to cut the shell into half and then pull out the wing. Clean the shrimp with running water until the water runs clear and free from any fishy smell. Then drain the shrimp on a colander to remove the excess water. Okay, now get ready some aromatic that is specific for general soul dishes. That's spring onion and dry chili, garlic and ginger. Cut the ginger into slices. Then into strips. And lastly into fine dices. Similarly, coarsely chop 2 cloves of garlic. And finally chop a stalk of spring onion. Cut one dry chili into sections, then remove the seeds. And now we have all the aromatics ready. Now let's move on to prepare the sauce for the shrimp. It is a combination of savory, sweet and sour, which is the characteristic flavor of general so. First, we need some black vinegar, light soy sauce, sugar, Shaoxing wine and lastly some tomato paste. Give it a mix and set aside. Let's return to the shrimp. Add two large tablespoons of cornstarch to lightly coat the shrimp. The starch helps to hold the water and therefore preventing it from splashing during deep frying. It also helps to crease up the shrimp shell. Heat the oil in a pan to 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I use a kitchen thermometer to measure the temperature. If not, you can place a pair of wooden chopsticks into the oil. The temperature is right for deep frying when there's a constant stream of bubbles rising from the chopsticks. Deep fry the stream for about 1 minute on each side or until the color has changed completely.
when you knock the shell of the shrimp with the chopstick and there's a hollow sound, it means the shell is already crispy. Remove the shrimp with a YMS trainer. Place them on a paper towel to remove any excess oil. Add a tablespoon of vegetable oil to the wok. Add the ginger, garlic, dried chili, and spring onion, and saute over low to medium heat until aromatic. Add the general soy sauce that we prepared earlier to the wok. When it returns to a boil, reduce the sauce further to thicken it so that it is able to cling onto the shrimp. When the sauce has thickened, pour the shrimp to the wok and coat thoroughly with the sauce. Turn off the heat, add a teaspoon of sesame oil, mix well, then dish out. Add some finely chopped spring onions and red chili and mix with the shrimp. Transfer the shrimp to a serving plate. Garnish with more spring onion and chilies to serve. That's how to make general soul stream and I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you'd like to get the recipe, I've included it in the description below the video. And please subscribe, tap the notification bell, and give me a thumbs up. I'll see you again in some other similar video soon. Bye for now.